Insert song, TV show, or movie quote here. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the 3-0 Transformers Rise of the Beast Deluxe Bumblebee. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at... The packaging right up front here, we have a lovely image of Bumblebee running into action. His name is Bumblebee. Hey, look, it's from a movie, Transformers. That's side of the box, we have Bumblebee. On this side, we have Bumblebee. Up top, Bumblebee. On the bottom, words, things, stuff. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. And, of course, we can open up the front flap there. We have more product shots. We have the tray that the figure sits in. Also, his name is Bumblebee. And that is basically it for... Of the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Deluxe Bumblebee. And uh, first off, I just want to say a big thank you to the good people at 3-0 for sending this my way to take a look at. Thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, here is Deluxe Bumblebee as he appeared in Transformers Rise of the Beast and just a fantastic figure. As 3-0 does, they make some great stuff. I've always been a big fan of their work and still continue to be. But let's get in close here so we can take a look not at that Bumble crowd but at that bumble noggin, there it is. And see a nicely done head sculpt there. You got the nice silver. You have transparent plastic there for the eyes because they will light up. I'll show that off a little bit later. Autobot symbol right there on the forehead. Get some bits of gunmetal gray in there as well. Just an overall nicely done head sculpt. You can get tons of detail there in the shoulders. All that picked out in paint as well as the chest. Wonderfully detailed. Again, just all around, just lots of great detail. Some fantastic paintwork. He just looks great. Love the nice black stripage going on there. Just some nice, crisp paint apps. As well as some weathering as well. I don't know how well it comes across on camera, but there is kind of like... Like some weathering in there. It's kind of like some, some dust and uh, some kind of grime kind of worked into the paint job as well. So it doesn't look pristine, you know. It looks like, you know, he's been he's been running around in the jungle, you know. <laughs> but really nicely done. Love how the tires even have some, like, grime and dirt in them as well. So everything looks weathered and worn. Nothing looks pristine because, you know, they're robots. They're fighting and they're running around in the jungle. That's what they do. They get dirty. They're going to get dirty. And the Bumble Boots, I love the Bumble Boots. I've said it before, I'll say it again. The Boots is my favorite part of the redesign of Bumblebee. I just love his Bumble Boots. You can see even the bottoms are nicely detailed. And moving up the back again. Lots of fantastic detail. Some great paintwork. The Bumble Booty. Again, love that kind of spine detailing going down the back there. Even the interior of the doors. I totally picked out with some nice paint apps all around. A great looking figure. Now, articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint. So we have wiggly waggly, and the base of the neck is also on a ball joint. So you get all kinds of wiggly waggly. Can look up a good bit, can look down. Head can do a full 360, even as little. Uh, so ears or horns or whatever can move up and down. Uh, these little sections here are on ball joints, so these can move around as well if you need them to. The arms can rotate, can do a full 360, can move in and out here. And this section right here can also move up. And the shoulder pad is on a double hinge, so you can kind of move that out of the way. And that will allow a whole lot of extra upward movements. So everything just kind of works in tandem there. Of course, be careful as you're doing so, because parts can knock around. Uh, you do have bicep rotation. You do have a single jointed elbow, but you get a good amount of movement. You do also have forearm rotation as far as the wrist. The wrist are on the ball joints. You have rotation, some wiggly waggly. Uh, the upper torso is on a ball joint, so you have side to side crunchage, archage, and again, when you engage that out of crunch, you get some more detailing that gets revealed there. 
And as far as the waist, the waist can rotate. You can also get some crunch right there as well. So you can get a nice deep ab crunch going if you need to. Um, these sections here of the legs, these hip pieces are on a double hinge. So you can move these out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. The legs can go forward about that far. You can do the big boot with his big boots. As far as backwards, you can get out about that far. Again, just be careful with things kind of knocking around. Outward, again, if you move this piece out of the way, you can get out that far. Um, shift that back upward. He does have thigh rotation. Not a lot of thigh rotation because this piece here, you kind of see, just kind of starts to get in the way. So you have to accommodate for that as far as the knee. It's a single jointed knee. You still get a nice range of movement out of it. And I love how this knee piece here is on those hinges. So it all moves in tandem with that articulation. And you also get some new details that get revealed when you engage that. And as far as the feet, um, you have this little panel here that can move up. The feet can move up. They can move down. You do have a bit of rotation. You have ankle tilted. It's quite snug on this copy, but you have ankle tilted. You even have a toe joint going on in there. And hey, even these wheels here, they can move around a little bit. And also, as far as his wings go, um, the wings back here are just on a single rotational joint. You can have them up, you can have them down, just have them chilling out down there, bring them up. There's also on the hinge that allows them to move forward and back. And you can also split them and have the full on double wings going on. Now, as far as accessories go, we do get the display stand. And it's the same stand we get with pretty much every 3-0 release now with the Transformers Rise of the Beast logo right there, front and center. Um, now, here's where I'm starting to have a problem with 3-0 because they include this exact stand with every figure. And the problem is this doesn't work with every figure. Um, you can see where the connector piece is and that is nowhere near where it actually is supposed to be. This ends up like in the middle of his back, but you pop out his butt plate here, and this is where it actually plugs in. So you do that, and now he is just hovering <laughs> off the stand, and there's nothing you can do about that. So, yeah, the stand is not going to work for this figure, unless you're going to have him in some kind of, like, jumping attack pose, then great, but if you just want him actually standing on the base, and you want him to be secure as he's doing so, um, that's not going to work at all. So, I think it would be in 3-0's best interest to start making bases that actually are made for whatever figure they're including it with, because otherwise you can't really use this unless you just pop off this arm altogether, but then you lose that added security of just having them, you know, plugged in. So, eh, it is what it is. But as far as other accessories go, we do get some extra hands, the ones that are pre-installed on the figure, just the closed fists, but we do get a pair of just relaxed open hands, and again, lots of detail going on there. Look at that. Look at all that. Again, that same level of detail and paintwork. You do also get a pair of just, if I can stop dropping them, <laughs> a pair of just splayed open hands, just no, or jazz hands, or just hi, waving hands, whatever you want to do. I need to stop dropping it. Stop, stop, just set it down, set it down. There we go. I'm just a bumble butterfingers today, but we also get an alternate head here with the battle mask. And I'll show this off a little more later. And last but not least, we get not only one, but two Bumble Blasters. That's right, we get dual Bumble Blasters. As you can see, just like everything else, wonderfully detailed, wonderfully painted. Just looks awesome. So we get a pair of those as well. Now to install the Bumble Blasters, it is just as simple as just removing the arm. You have this little ring also that will come off with it, so make sure that stays on. And... Just plug the blaster in, get everything lined up just right, which I do not. There we go. Just plug that in, and again, just remove that, plug in the bumble blaster, and voila, he now has his dual bumble blaster, so we can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and all of that good stuff right there. But wait, there's more, because they do light up now to install the batteries. You want to remove 
this little piece right here, you have a screw, undo that screw and this entire panel will pop out and you will install two LR44 batteries, which are not included, you will have to get those yourself. But you will need two for each cannon and to turn them on, you just wanna push on the barrel and you can see there, they light up a nice bright orange for maximum pew pewing, bang banging and pew pewing and bang banging. And that is really cool. And we do also have lights in the head and to install the batteries, you just pop off the top of his head and that will also take two LR44 batteries and to turn the lights on, you just push the Autobot symbol on his forehead and whoop, his eyes will glow a nice bright blue. So hey, things you can do if you want to do it. But of course we have noggin options because we do have that extra head sculpt. So we can just pop this head off, just decapitate him real quick, take the battle mask head and pop that in, pop it, pop it, there we go, and oop, there we go, did it by accident, but <laughs> you can also activate the lights in this one, and again, takes two LR44s, everything takes two LR44s, so you have those eyes glowing behind the battle mask in a nice bright blue, and if you push the button again, whoop, oh, we get the red eyes, he's angry, he means business. Oh no, oh no. But pushed again, and that will turn them off. So there you have that. So there you have that. And now for Comparus Hunt. Here he is with the main lion, Deluxe Bumblebee. Here he is with the 3 0 Deluxe Last Night Bumblebee. Just so you can see how they look side by side there. And here he is with the 3-0 Deluxe Bumblebee movie, Bumblebee. And here he is with the Deluxe Bumblebee movie, Optimus Prime. And if you want a measurement to the top of his head, Bumblebee comes in at about eight and a quarter inches tall. And here he is with the Yolo Park, Rise of the Beasts. Bumblebee kit and uh, yeah, definitely the 301 I feel nailed the proportions and this is exactly what I was talking about when I reviewed the Yolo Park version You can see how the, the, the arms just hang just a little lower than they should you can see how they how the hands just They're like right above the knees right here. They're almost like right at the knees You see this is exactly what I was talking about just bring them up a little bit and it makes it look so much better So that that arms too long this perfect works exactly as it should but there you go. So there you have the 3-0 Deluxe Bumblebee. And yeah, as always, fantastic figure here from 3-0. I mean, as is usually the case, just amazing detailing paintwork, just all around a fantastic looking figure. Really poseable, just really fun to mess with. Really fun to pose. Overall, just a great figure. Um, my only gripe really is just the display stand. I wish the display stand actually worked with this figure. Um, but yeah, as up to 3 0 to actually make display stands that work with the figure that they are going with. But you know, but otherwise, a fantastic piece in my opinion. So there you go. Now you can get this and any other 3 0 products from BigBadToyStore.com. As always, linked in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the 3 0 playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the 3 0 Transformers Rise of the Beast Deluxe Bumblebee. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. Yes, I know, Bumblebee. No, no, seriously, you think I didn't think of that? Jeez, and here I thought Blitzwing ripping your throat out would be the best thing to happen. But now, all the time, you're just squeeze, 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 squeeze. Shut up, Bumblebee!